Hi everyone, this is Lily's Tarot and this is going to be a general reading for the collective. Welcome to my channel, welcome back guys. Hope you guys are all good. So we're going to see what your message is today. It's not going to resonate with everyone, take what does, leave what doesn't. Okay. Okay, I really feel like someone's been draining your energy, okay? And I think for some of you, you feel like you've been thrown off your your game lately, whether that's with work, your career or whatever, because we've got like some lustful connections going on. Okay. You've been getting it in? Huh? Um, there we are. Oh, this one. Yeah, so I, I think... I feel like what it is is that you're just drained and you're really tired and you could be even feeling quite emotional as well but I definitely feel like you guys there's a lot you guys have a lot to lose in terms of your career where you're up to at this point or even just kind of trying to stay out of this <laughs> this lustful connection because you feel like it's just taking all your energy and your reserves and this connection is not pouring anything back into you yeah we've got masculine we've got this lord god here <laughs> Someone's definitely asserting their authority, I feel like, over you. And it's like, oh, it's your shadow. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Hmm. You know, that's a bit sensitive when we think about it. It's, it's tricky because I think you're going through, because some of you I feel like are going through that dark night of the soul. Okay, so it's feeling quite dark for you. You're not feeling your usual self, you know, and I feel like there's someone here who's probably trying to assert their, their masculine energy over you, okay? And they're just kind of sort of trying to keep this lustful connection going. You've got Second Chakra, Archangel Uriel. You've got Cornucopia here. Yeah. So I definitely feel like you guys just have some work on healing to do, especially when it comes to your heart. I feel like they, you know that you kind of need to protect yourself, you know, from these types of connections. All right. Because I definitely feel like whatever it is you're building on the sidelines of this is leading to abundance. So it's, you know, I'm even hearing like generational wealth, like it's a lot of money you know, what you're trying to accumulate and you're sowing those seeds now. And I think right now, maybe this situation to me, it looks like it's not bringing the best out of you. I really feel like a lot of you are quite spiritual as well. Very intuitive. Some of you could be readers as well. And I definitely feel like a lot of you need to up your levels of protection as well. situation is kind of weird a little bit because I feel like you have someone that watches you a lot like even when you're not looking you don't know that they're watching you wow yeah this is most definitely <laughs> someone from your past you got ten of ones twice um I even feel like you've got an old friend watching you. Maybe someone you went to school with or someone you worked with. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles here. So I think, I think you're going to have a few different types of people, I think, contacting you from the past, okay? Maybe they're also seeing that whatever you're doing is growing. You're getting bigger at it. You're getting more confident at it. You know, you're about to do really well. You do have this level of obedience and drive. 
It's just, I feel like the wind's been knocked out of you a little bit lately. And I think that you're kind of carrying the burden in this relationship that you're in, trying to be strong, hoping that this person's going to see it another way or see that, you know, you are the one and mm, sort of take it out of that lustful zone and bring it into like a commitment, you know. But guys, you do have new communication coming in. Yes. I think things are going to start to move for you quite quickly here. I think once you kind of realize, that's why you're feeling drained and everything, because you're the one that was carrying this whole relationship. You know, you're the doer in this, and this person was most definitely the taker. Oh, we got a tower, and we got the lovers. <laughs> yes. Seven of Swords. Hmm. So you have somebody here who's going to be coming up to you very soon, all right, and saying that they want to take this further, they want to take it out of the lustful zone, all right? This could be an Aries here because it comes up as the Emperor, but there's something about this person that you really don't trust, all right, because I think you feel like they're having lustful connections with other people, but I think neither of you are really speaking your truth right now about this connection. All right. Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Gemini. All right, let's see what else. Pathway. So, yeah, we definitely do have a new pathway opening up. All right, I really feel what it is is that you're just dealing with an alpha male. Okay, but we've got sudden wealth, we've got commitment and we've got marriage. But with this mature woman, it's almost like they're saying you're going to kind of need to speak up for what you want from this person, which is not easy. Not easy. So we got children. We got your love life is being affected by children, but they're asking you to give this relationship a chance and to work on your partnership. So maybe your person has children and there's situations going on, or maybe this is a time that you've been sort of focusing on your own children, or you've been using them as an excuse possibly to take things further. Even though you kind of want to take things further, I think you're still quite, still quite scared. And that's why your shadow self is coming out. You know, the I'm not good enough, or I don't trust anybody, da, 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 da. I really feel like you've got two people watching you, though. It's weird. And yeah, look, we've got make an effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And they want you to know that you are lovable and that you do deserve love. Let's see what's going on. We've got life gets better with you. All cried out, stop trying to control it and live in the moment. Love yourself unconditionally. I see you in my dreams. Cry me a river. This loneliness is crushing me. I've been talking to your answer phone. You bring fulfillment to my life. You're the one I love daydreaming. It's kind of cute because I think maybe what it is as well with this person, it doesn't sound good, but maybe they had to kind of still do what they were doing to kind of know how they feel about you. And I feel like you're just kind of sort of suppressing how you feel about this person as well. I think you both think about each other a lot, but you won't say it. All right. And I definitely feel like with this, you're trying to control this so that you don't get hurt. But either which way it goes, something's got to give. So you might as well be the one to have to start this conversation and have it because either it's going to be more or it's not and then at least you know I'm not wasting my time anymore and if that person is rejecting you it's not so much they're rejecting you they're just not ready yet okay they haven't finished messing around or doing whatever it is that they want to do but I definitely I do feel like this person does want to join join forces with you in a way they're realising that life feels better 
when you're with them or around them. Feel like you take care of this person more than you probably should. We've got beware of the qualities you are projecting for the qualities you admire in another. Sorry. For the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And then we've got healing. Imagine yourself and your love, beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. And that's what we was talking about, isn't it? Going back to that, that shadow, that dark part of ourself that comes up, you know, when we feel we're being rejected. Where does that come from? What is it about? Is it true? Or, are, or you know, because sometimes we have to take responsibility in these situations as well. Like we chose someone and was having a lustful connection with them. You know, we chose that for ourselves. All right, let's see. We've got denial. <laughs> oh, see the truth in the situation. Let's see. Denial can occur in various ways when someone chooses to ignore the facts in a situation. For example, some people stay in broken relationships whilst denying the rupture that exists and the negative consequences that are incurred. If a partner is misbehaving though, it makes no sense to ignore the wrongful behavior. Denial also occurs when a person seeks to avoid responsibility for their own actions, continuing with poor behavior. Some people live in denial over the non-existence of affection from another, convincing themselves that in some way they are fated to be together when no such destiny exists. For instance, when an object of unrequited love is a in a happy relationship with someone else and gives no meaningful indication of reciprocating feelings with the person who is infatuated over them, in contrast, a healthy-minded person is someone who accepts the facts for what they are. When you select this card, the angelic realm is encouraging you to be honest with yourself about the situation. The angels are suggesting that you can take positive steps now to move forward. All right, so you, you got to take this as this resonates, okay, for what is true for your current situation, all right? We've got choose a new direction. I just, I think with this person, you're just, you're just kind of being overpowered by them. And I feel like even though they will come to you and say, okay, look, I want something more. Are they willing to put in that work? You know, are they really willing to lay strong foundations with you and cut everybody else off in their little, little private circle that they have? Okay. Some of them, I feel like, you know, they might give it a good go. But I think for a lot of you, they're saying, look, try not to live in denial when it comes to this person. I feel like for you, though, for a lot of you, love is coming, but it's just not from this person. And I really feel like there's going to be an opportunity coming up for you guys soon as well. What is that? Why am I? I feel like they're showing it to me. But I, can't really see it. I feel like you've either got some unexpected money coming towards you. In, oh, in charm, exchanging gifts. Let's see. Yeah, so maybe someone's going to bring you a gift. Okay, grand basket. The law of giving and receiving, currency, trade off, weighing costs, and determining value. Okay, you're entering into a productive and rich in time when all manner of opportunities are being off, um, offered to you. You have everything you need to seize them, yet in order to honour them, you must put in the time, exchange your patience, sorry, ex guys, I can't even talk, I've been talking too much today. Exchange your experience and skills and commit heart and soul to what you're choosing to pursue. You can do it. You have what it takes to be successful if you align with the law of giving and receiving. You must engage in a dance of give and take, push and pull, doing and being. If you let fear guide your choices, you could deplete yourself or create an imbalance. 
This is not a time of just do, do, do. Use your currency wisely and be mindful of the value others bring into your life. So yeah, you're gonna be receiving some gifts, some opportunities from the universe. So I feel like things are gonna get better for you. Just, you know, definitely need to uh, see this situation for what it is. I definitely feel like with this person that even if they wanted to kind of give you this start that they're, looks like they're coming in to offer, I think it's about their lifestyle that has to change as well. So, I mean, if someone's not prepared to change their lifestyle, I'm not really sure about how they can fully change themselves. Because they just look like they're going around in circles. We've got the chariot, determination and self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. That's cancer energy. And we've got the lovers, make choices from their heart, deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. That's Gemini. And then we have the Empress here at the bottom of the deck. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxurious or abundant resources. And that's Libra Taurus. Nice. All right, let's read you some angel messages and I'm out of here. We've got let your past go. The burden of carting your past around has made you weary. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it. And now it's gone. Yes. So don't let this darkness of this relationship overshadow all the amazing things about yourself. Okay. And all the great things that you have coming towards you. That's um, off the back of your own sheer hard work and determination. Okay. So nobody can take this from you. Guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye.